no matter how good you are at manifesting, something so-called bad is going to come into your life at a certain point. Well, today's video is all about how to deal with that and indeed how to take these negative experiences and turn them from something bad into something good. So if you are wondering why something has happened to you and you're not really figuring it out, you feel like you're a victim and you're really having a hard time dealing with it, then today's video is for you. So keep watching. Hello beautiful and welcome back. My name is Jen Stevens. I am a holistic manifestation coach and I'd love to welcome you to my YouTube channel today. This is where I create a brand new free training for you every single week all about improving your life by using the power of your mind. So if you are all about up-leveling your life, achieving your goals, and using manifestation to create a beautiful reality for yourself, then you'll wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So today we are talking about negative things because it is a fact of life. No matter how good you are at manifesting, no matter how many intentions you set, no matter how many things you achieve in your life, something bad or unexpected is inevitably going to pop up for you. So I know that this creates a little bit of fear in the manifestation world because of course people like me are always teaching you that you can create your reality by what you're thinking. However, that does not mean that you can create a perfect reality. That does not mean that you can get out of all of the normal problems of being a human. So the first thing I want you to know is that if something has gone wrong in your world, it isn't your fault. Like nothing has happened. Nothing has gone wrong. You didn't mess up and now you're being punished. So that is where a lot of people tend to take this line of thinking. They feel like I brought this on myself. I manifested something bad and being punished. And of course, that is not a good, healthy way of looking at life. So the way you need to think about manifestation is that you get to consciously pick things that you are going for, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to be a smooth journey. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily always going to manifest exactly what you want. Sometimes, you know, you might think you're going in one direction and end up going in a completely different direction. And that is just a normal part of life. Sometimes we have expectations about how things are going to play out. Like we get this really amazing job and we think this is it. This is our dream job. Or we fall in love and get in this relationship and think, okay, this is the one. This is where I'm meant to be. And then, you know, the company closes or the person dumps you. And then you end up thinking, oh no, like I had everything that I wanted and now it's not here anymore. So obviously I did something to repel it. That is a big trap that I really need to caution you away from falling into. You know, sometimes things in life don't last as long as we expect them to, but that doesn't mean anything has gone wrong. Sometimes a relationship is not meant to last. Sometimes you have learned the lessons and gotten what you needed to out of it in a shorter time frame than you thought. Sometimes the dream job is not actually the dream job, but just you being there is an experience in itself. Just you being in that relationship was an experience in itself. So it's never that you lost time or wasted time or did the wrong thing. It is all part of you growing and actually is showing that you're getting very close to where you wanna go when these situations arise. So if something negative has happened to you and you're currently in that phase of feeling like self-blame and feeling like you brought it on yourself, I just really want you to get out of that and just start to remember that it's all part of the bigger picture. We are humans. <laughs> we are human beings. We are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience and human life it has a lot to do with lack. So I know I'm always teaching about living up to your spiritual potential here, but human reality, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff that goes, you know, that we call bad that goes hand in hand with that. So I just want you to remember that this isn't like some horrible reflection on you. This is just part of the game of being human. Like we're going to lose things. We're going to experience these negative things. We're going to have this limitation in our life. But that limitation, again, it's not there to punish you. It is, in fact, just the other side of the happiness and joy coin. If all of our relationships were wonderful all the time, I don't think we'd have any way of really getting closer to certain people than other people. Like We need to know what a bad relationship is like so that we really 
know what a good one is and we value the good ones. It is all part of the learning process. And that brings me to the point that I want to make today is that you can turn any single experience into a growth experience. When you're just in the middle of experiencing heartbreak or loss, of course, I'm not going to rush you through that process. Like give yourself time to grieve, give yourself time to feel sad, give yourself time to be angry and feel those things. Because if you just start to rush into positive thinking, you're not really dealing with those feelings and those feelings are going to pop up probably at a very inopportune time somewhere down the road. So it's really important that you feel your feelings, you allow yourself to feel sad, sorry for yourself, angry, whatever for, you know, a week, a month, however long you feel like you need to do that. The trick is do not let yourself get stuck there. Just because you feel sad right now doesn't mean you need to stay sad forever. Just because you feel angry right now doesn't mean you need to stay angry forever. So it's time to start to think about your life as you being an emotional alchemist. So you have the power to turn that shit into gold. You have the power to take a so-called negative experience and turn it into something beautiful. That doesn't just happen. Like just you staying sad or staying angry doesn't necessarily lead to this kind of growth. So you have to start to challenge yourself to rise to the occasion. And the question that I always gets this ball rolling in my own mind is what is the lesson I learned here? And what have I learned from this experience? So again, even the experiences that are bad and negative they teach us something about us, even if that lesson is just, when I see the first red flag, I should learn to trust myself. Like that is a valuable lesson in itself, right? Uh, Self-trust is so important. We think that we trust ourselves, but often we don't really see that trust in action until it is out there in the real world. We can fall out of the patterns of self-trust. We think we're trusting ourselves, but really we're just wanting something to work that maybe isn't working. As long as you hold on to the lesson, as long as you deeply integrate that lesson, you are elevating yourself beyond the situation. And that is the only way that you are going to truly prevent yourself from experiencing this thing again. So when the lesson stops appearing in our life, that's when we know we've learned it. So if you are falling into the same patterns, like getting your heart broken in the same kind of way over and over again, you know that that lesson isn't really sticking. You know the next time that happens that there is something more that you need to take from the situation for next time. So one of the things that can happen to us because we're human is because we really want something to work and it didn't work, we think, oh, if I just try harder or stick around longer or if I'm nicer or if I do this more, then maybe next time it'll work. So it is really important to realize, again, if you're in this repeating pattern, that it's not about that. It is probably about you setting a boundary. It is probably about you saying no to something. It is probably about you showing up in the relationship or in the job in a different way than you were before. Again, we're thinking about emotional alchemy. We're thinking about how to take this experience and really turn it into something amazing, right? When you get the lesson, you stop repeating the pattern. When you really integrate it, and the next time this comes up, you do the other thing. You take the opposite direction. You won't find yourself back in feeling the same dark place anymore. And that's really when you know that you have done the work. That is when you know you have elevated. If you are looking at everything in your life as this is a punishment because I was negative and I was worrying about this and then it happened you're probably not going to get the lesson. You are probably going to think that next time, if I'm just more positive, if I do this better, then it's going to work. And I can guarantee you, I can tell you from personal experience that that isn't how it works. Thinking of yourself as an emotional alchemist is really the key to creating massive transformation in your life. It is not about just being happy 24 seven and never having anything go wrong in your life. The thing that creates a really happy human is learning how to deal with and thrive even when the problems are coming your way. When you can really take that with you, if you can understand that the point is not just pure happiness all the time, the point is growth, then you can start to look for the growth in any situation. You can look for the growth in your breakup. You can look for the growth in the bank account that's not where you want it to be at. You can look for the growth in your business, in your job, in your weight loss journey, in whatever it is. And when you take that growth and you apply it, that is when you really start to 
dramatically shift. If you're repeating old patterns, if you're finding yourself in the same situation, just take that as a sign that there is something there that you need to figure out. You need to alchemize. You need to work on it. You need to take that lesson and more importantly, apply that lesson to your life for the next time. Bad things are always going to happen. There is always going to be a downside. Even when you are manifesting things into your life, there's always a downside that comes with everything. For example, mo money, mo problems. Like if you think you're going to solve everything in your life by having a ton of money, you're probably going to be gravely disappointed when you finally get that money. (laughs) The problems are still going to come in and living our life thinking that we can somehow get out of this, this very human reality. We're just selling ourselves short on our own ability to be happy. You get to be happy no matter what. And your attitude to what comes your way is the key to everything. For today, I'm inviting you to start to think of yourself as an emotional alchemist, somebody who can turn the crap in life into gold. Do not get stuck in wallowing. Do not get stuck in self-blame. Do not get stuck in perfectionist fantasies about your future. Do your best in every situation to learn and grow, and you will always be headed in a better direction in the end. So that is it for today's training. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to learn more about holistic manifestation, I invite you to come over and check out my program Recode. It is the place where I'm teaching you how to manifest through trauma healing and shadow work. I'm teaching you how to manifest money, manifest love, and so much more. So come on over and check that out if you're interested. If you like this video today, please go ahead and give me a like. And of course, I will be back here in next week's training. So until then, I'm wishing you an amazing week. Remember, you are stronger than anything that comes your way. And what you do now is the only thing that matters. So thank you again for watching and I will see you soon.